Let's talk about expert witness searching in this edition of the Jenkins Law Library Video Tip of the Week. This is a big topic. There's no way I'm going to make you an expert in two minutes, but I want to take one narrow aspect of doing research on expert witnesses, that is checking the published journal literature to see what the expert has published. And if the expert is in the uh, medical field or the life sciences field, where, what should be your first choice? Should be PubMed. PubMed is your tax dollars at work. It's a database of tw uh, more than 21 million journal articles. Uh, they're indexed most of but not all have abstracts and in the last 10 years or so they've been starting to add full text of the article okay I've done a search I kind of rocked it old school with the way I created this query but it's AJ Newson as the author and I got 28 hits and I'm gonna pick the second one um, this one does not provide the full text you get an abstract of roughly 250 words but most importantly you get the address because you'd be surprised how many times an expert in the field has the same name as an, another expert working in a similar field so you want to make sure you get the right person in this case we've got the address we're interested in so we can get the um, at least get an abstract of the article. Now, if you go through, some of them are marked with either free article or free PMC article, which stands for PubMed Central. If you click on the link, you'll get the PDF of the article. And I'm going to scroll down to the bottom for you to show you that, yes, the address, as it was published in the journal, is at the end. And we can see that we have the correct uh, author that we're interested in. So where else do we go once we're done with PubMed? Well, uh, there is the ubiquitous Google. I've done a search for AJ Newson. And this fourth hit, ethical aspects arising from non-invasive fetal diagnosis. Um, if you look at the results page, and I'm gonna, I got it right up here, the, the full text is not available here from PubMed, but it is available in, uh, from Google Scholar. And here it is. Okay, it's an Elsevier journal, and there's the address. We've got the right person. So sometimes you can get the full text from another source that doesn't happen to pop up in PubMed. Uh, any other sources? Yes, Highwire. Um, Highwire from Stanford University uh, has about 2 million free full text articles. I did a search in their easy to navigate search uh, interface. I did a search for AJ Newson, and they have a free article here. And this one from March 2010 does not even appear in my results page um, on. PubMed. I don't know if they don't index the article, uh, the journal, or if it hasn't just arrived yet at PubMed. But in any case, the full text is available. And if you click on the PDF link, you'll see this particular um, PDF, and there is the address that we're interested in. So there's three places to go to to do some background searching on an expert witness in the medical or life sciences field. Certainly, your first choice should be PubMed.